What is going on? I'm Zedmot, also known as a non moose here on the YouTubes. What we're going to be doing is going over this account, first of all, trying to explain what's happening here and give you guys a better idea of an attack strategy that works incredibly, incredibly well at HQ 16. Now, this account does have HQ 16 hidden here behind the trees and all of that sort of fun stuff. We do have other buildings hidden here. We've got the weapon lab there. We've got uh, our sculptor somewhere down in here. We've got statue storage and all that sort of fun stuff. Really, really digging the tree base here. I do have a tree base guide if you're into that sort of thing. This is just doing it to the absolute, absolute extreme. What we're gonna do now is focus on one specific attack strategy and go over a couple technical details in it. Hopefully it helps you. We have boosted our resource reward. I'm hoping to upgrade my last landing craft to max for this HQ level. My statues on this account are not good. Check that out, 22% gunboat energy, 20% troop damage. Nowhere near max, very, very average to awful, but that's kind of the, what happens when you're at the low levels. So should be a good indication of the base. Now, I've got a ton of resources in all of these bases that I've got on my map. Again, check the cards. I've got a really good explanation of why, but I just finished the Mega Crab on this account. During the Mega Crab, make sure you scout your opponent bases. That way, when you scout, it actually checks their resources. So by scouting, you can load up with tons and tons of resources, which should make upgrading my landing crafts fairly simple. So we're just gonna go ahead and attack. Now for these kind of bases, I'm only gonna be using Everspark. These bases, I mean, every base at the HQ 16 level, for the most part, every is not a good word to use, but you can take down almost every base with just Everspark, as long as you use a little bit of smoke. I prefer to use the Universal Remote. You can also use Critter Swarm. I just don't think that's required. Smoke Herd of the Back is great, great smoke practice. It lets you work on practicing your smokes, practicing your timing, all of those kinds of things. And then as soon as she gets in the neighborhood of the back, you can see how much GBE you have left. So we're gonna get rid of this Shock Launcher. And at this point, the base is done. It's, it's a little bit slow. It's gonna be a little bit frustrating. Everspark's going to stand on that rocket launcher's blind spot, hopefully, maybe, and then her critters are going to take out the headquarters. And at this point, all we really need to do is take out the buildings that can range the headquarters so that her critters can clear the headquarters, our critters can keep going, and she can keep using that electric zapper wrench that she's got to attack the headquarters. Now, I did not plan this base, I did not scout this base beforehand. This is literally how easy it is. 99.47% of the time on these kind of bases. So practice your smoking, send Everspark to the back. And if you're designing your HQ 15, 16 base, please, please make sure that you have some buildings behind your headquarters. I know a lot of people can't smoke their troops to the back. Just make it a little bit difficult on them. Uh, maybe a machine gun behind the core. That way when you get a little bit farther on and you progress a little bit, uh, your machine gun's not going to be in a range of bullet when he comes down below the core. Anyways, lots and lots of on that on my channel as far as attack strategies for higher level troops. But I figured for you low levels, I would. I've just got back from work. Uh, I just got back. Warships just started. Mega Crab just ended. Lots and lots of stuff going. But I just wanted to get my feet wet, get my feet back on the ground, and make a couple other feet comments just to get this going. Nice, simple attack strategy that basically anyone who is HQ 15 or above can take advantage of. Uh, I'll show you one more base because maybe even two if we have time, but please try an all Everspark attack. It saves your troops, it saves your gold. That attack, we lost zero troops. We gained 635,000 gold. Obviously, that number is inflated a little bit. By I have a pretty good resource reward statue. We're getting 82% returns. And resource reward statue is going to way, way outperform any sort of green statue. So if you're considering trying to upgrade quickly, please look to get a resource reward statue. It's ideally a masterpiece even a masterpiece and a guardian. I don't really recommend that, but you're gonna get so many resources by having that statue and boosting it. And again, this account or this 
base as well. You see that boom cannon is the closest thing to reaching. We've got these two buildings that are touching. We've got that rocket launcher. So we can just cruise on back and take this base down without a heck of a lot of thought or planning and should be able to lose zero troops, which is always a bonus because uh, Boom Beach is an incredibly fun game to play when you can attack and use troops. And when you're waiting for troops to load, it can be a little bit frustrating. So we're going to flare all the way back to this back corner, waiting, 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 delaying our first smoke because obviously flamethrowers can't deal with it. We're going to use a little bit of a gap smoke because Everspark has decent health, moves decently quickly. And so things like boom cannons and sniper towers and all of the rest just aren't going to be a concern for us. So get her all the way to the very, very back wall. And then we're going to hit that universal hack, which is going to get rid of that one building that could possibly harm us. And then we'll also get rid of that machine gun. And now our critters have this nice free reign to get rid of the headquarters. Very, very e Now, one thing to note here, if you force close your game, whether you're using iOS by swiping it up or by using Android to um, actually go into your app center or settings, apps, and force closing the actual device or the actual app, the attack will simulate the rest of it and you don't have to sit here waiting. So a little bit of a hack, if you want to call it that, as far as a way to complete your attacks. Once your troops are in position, we have no more GBE to spend. I'm going to wait until we get that last artillery and throw it in the headquarters. And at this point, you could force close. It's a very, very way, good way to have the rest of the attack simulated and save yourself a little bit of time. Now, it's not going to make win the base for you if you weren't going to win already, but saving that eight seconds watching your critters hump away at that headquarters is going to save you a little bit of time. And there we go. Two bases back to back. We went five hole on Jacknut and uh, very, very easy resources. No troops lost. Should be getting fairly close to that landing craft upgrade at this point. I've got tons and tons of resources, as you can see there. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. Landing craft upgrade started and we can keep attacking. Now, one thing to be aware of, always, always make sure your landing craft is full of troops before you start an upgrade. That way, when your operation attack comes up, like this operation attack is going on in the background, you're not attacking with six boats. You have that seventh boat already full. Now, if you have to move it to a specific spot so you don't use it, whatever it might be, just do your best or just use Everspark. Um, let's do one more attack. Now, for those of you who uh, just finished or just started Warships Season 8. Hopefully things are going incredibly, incredibly well for you. Lots of cool stuff this season as far as, especially with the ground. The, um, the way that the ground is set up is really, really good as far as the actual Warships theme of um, Grounded. The ground of Grounded, I guess, is what I'm after there. So some pretty neat stuff. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. See that Everspark? Also, you don't have to smoke right away as far as rocket launchers either. You can get her walking, have nice little gappy smokes. It's all about figuring out how long of a gap smoke you can use. One thing to be aware of, occasionally she will stop and drop critters and that will leave her sitting in that gap smoke, right? Like that, like you just saw, which can be... A good way for her to die so you have to be a little bit careful we're gonna hack that uh, cannon over on the right hand side as you can see it's taken a little bit of damage which is gonna help us out as far as this mortar right here this mortar is gonna be a bit of a concern for us thankfully ever sparks got a reasonable amount of health so she should be able to take that down with her magical wrench here you can see she actually does a fair amount of damage these are unboosted statues now her critters are going to finish taking off that base. Not the most exciting video for you high levels or for players who have used this strategy before. And I'm not saying this will take down every base. I'm just saying the last two times I've cleared my map, I've cleared it using only Everspark and it has worked incredibly, incredibly well. This does not take a lot of skill. It's very, very easy and you never have to wait for troops to reload because as long as you have at least one troop, whether it be a rifleman, a Zooka, a tank or whatever, you can just drop Everspark, head to the back and down goes the base. 
This is going to be a little bit longer because that rocket launcher does range and it's going to be picking off our critters one by one and doing some splash damage. But overall, hopefully this helps you clear your map, hopes helps you farm some extra resources. Just be aware. Remember, I can't state this enough. During the Mega Crab, replace a bunch of bases. We get the monthly Mega Crab now, so this is something you should be doing every single month. Re-scout bases during the middle of Mega Crab. If you scout, if you have someone on your map with a Chinese name, be aware that they're going to be clearing their map at a different time than you. So you can actually plan when you scout bases based on what characters are in their in-game name. If they're an English-based name, you want to scout them when you think they might be clearing their map and they're going to have more resources. That's taking it to an extreme, extreme level. That's definitely not required, but uh, it's one more step that some people have brought to my attention that... I don't do, but all I do is scout during the Mega Crab, and that's generally enough. So very, very simple attacks using Everspark. It also gets you aware of what she's going to hack, gets you planning your attacks. We just got our supply chest. We get some more dark fragments. Hopefully we can now improve those statues. Not quite yet, but daily getting those supply chests, farming your upgrades, and we're now maxed landing crafts. This account might seem absolutely insane to you only having one defense, but the single sniper account and the strategy really gives you a great, great insight as far as what the proper upgrade order that is. And that is upgrade your headquarters, upgrade your armory, upgrade your gunboat, upgrade your landing crafts, and then focus on other stuff. You do not need defenses to excel at Boom Beach. All offensive is a lot more fun and it's very, very viable. So anyways, that's it. Quick video from me today. Hopefully this helps out those low levels, somewhere between XP 35 and 48 or so. I'll talk to you soon. Back home, no more meetings and sickness and all that sort of stuff. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm Zedmod. Thanks for coming in. Peace.